Hello everyone. Today we are going to be unboxing Moving Beyond the Pages Age 4 to 5 Full Year Packet. I'm very excited about this. This is everything you need to do kindergarten for the whole year. And it comes in quite a large box, very heavy. So let's get into this and uh, see what you get. It looks very nicely packaged. You're going to find a catalog, packing slip, and this has some really good information on it. Not only does it have everything um, listed in your order, but it also has your order code. So if you need to uh, merge your order, if you're a charter school parent, that's gonna be found on this packing slip. Very important, please keep that handy. Um, right on top, we have a world map. Uh, very nice, thick card stock, um, glossy print. So that'll be wonderful for little ones to uh, explore the world with. Right on top here, we have our age four to five materials kit. At the age four to five level, there's a lot of hands-on activities, of course, a lot of beautiful literature, but we'll go through this more in depth here in just a little bit. So this is my favorite part of curriculum unboxing day, and that's getting to all the beautiful books. Right here on top, you're going to find your curriculum books. Here is your parent manual and your student activity book. Both of these are spiral bound, which means they're going to open all the way up and you can fold it all the way back if you would like to. They're gonna lay flat on the table. You're not gonna be fighting with the glue binding. Very nice, easy to keep organized, I think. Parent Manual has every instruction you need on what materials you need to get into every single day, and we'll go over that in just a little while. Any activities that are worksheet based, that is going to be in their student activity book. And you can see that is also spiral bound, easy for little ones to, uh, to get into and play with. Also, really nice. Now all the literature books. We are a literature-based curriculum, and this is my favorite part. So we have Goodnight Goon, George Washington's Birthday, A Mostly True Tale. What do you do with a tale like this? A Caldecott Honor Book. We're Going on a Leaf Hunt. The Seasons of Arnold's Apple Tree. The Real Mother Goose. The Quilt Story. Zen Zen Zen, a violin, a Cal another Caldecott honor book. Marshmallow, very cute, another Caldecott honor book. Hondo and Fabian, again, a Caldecott honor book. You can tell we like to, we like to pick the good books. Harry, the Happy Mouse, Thanksgiving Is, Greedy Zebra, The Christmas Wish, Little Blue and Little Yellow, that's a sweet little board book, Harold and the Purple Crayon, Dinosaurs, Big and Small, Blueberries for Sal, another Caldecott on her book, Baby Owl, this won the Caldecott Medal, The Little Island, Rain, Owl Babies, Night in the Country, Millions of Cats, a Newberry Honor Book, Jump Frog, Jump, Umbrella, A is for Muskox, and An Extraordinary Egg, Fireflies, But No Elephants. As you can see, there's quite a large stack of books that your child is going to get to enjoy this year. Now, let's get into this materials kit. It comes in a nice thick box, and as you can see, holds a lot of bags of items. And there's everything in here from bells to pipe cleaners. So the first thing you'll notice 
is there's like going to be a little note in here and it states unit one, unit seven, and unit eight. These three units do not contain a bag. They either use only a die cut from the pack, the manipulative is larger and in the box with common materials, or have no manipulative needed. Make sure that you hold on to that so you remember, so you don't go hunting for a materials bag and you don't find one. Now, also in here is going to be a stack of your die cuts, and it looks like a package of construction paper. We found that sometimes delicate little die cuts like the apple stems might get damaged in transit, so we keep them together and they're easily punchable for you to get out as you use it, okay? You're going to find a card box or a card case, and inside this card case are going to be alphabet cards, sight word cards, and number cards. You're gonna find items in here like cotton balls. This is a bag of common materials, so you're gonna use, you know, popsicle sticks and paint brushes and whiteboard markers, things like that multiple times. And so we didn't put a little bit in each bag, we just put the common materials all in one bag. There's also a bag of construction paper, not to be confused with the bag of die cuts. Now, as I said on our little note, unit one doesn't have a baggie, okay? But unit two does. So when, you're, when you come to unit two for Hondo and Fabian and you're gathering your materials, all you have to do is reach into your materials box and pull out this. It's labeled unit two, Hondo and Fabian, and it's the same for all of the units that have individual bags of materials. I'm not gonna go over every individual unit bag because we don't have time, but as you can see, unit 29 has jingle bells. Unit 14 for blueberries for Sal has little, little blue palms. There's a bag of modeling dough in here. There's a bag of paints. I might take these out and store these away just in case. Here's a roll of paper. It has some beans and a googly, a couple of googly eyes in here. You're basically looking at the craft cabinet of an entire kindergarten classroom. So you and your little one are gonna have a lot of fun this year working through the age four to five level. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our customer support team at 979-314-9938 or email us at info at movingbeyondthepage.com. Also, don't forget to follow our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And like and subscribe if you wanna hear more information about Moving Beyond the Page.